we've always had hurricanes, wildfires, droughts and floods. But now we are seeing something new because of climate change. Even more intense storms, rising sea levels and many deaths. Last year, tens of millions were affected and there were vast economic losses. But we don't have to accept this. We can act. And we must act as a matter of justice. It is the poor, persons with disabilities and women who are suffering most. We already know how to make our cities, our streets and homes much safer. For example, during recent floods in Bangladesh, thousands were saved after volunteers took part in flood early warning systems and helped people move to safer ground. We can also build up natural defenses against storms and floods, like these people planting mangroves in Kirabati. And in my own country, India, to protect ourselves from extreme weather, we can switch to localized rain collection and waste systems so that everyone can control their own access to safe water and sanitation. Life for small farmers has become even more unpredictable. It's hard to know when the next wet or dry season is going to come. But we can help them by providing financial insurance if they lose their harvest. And we are continuing to develop drought-tolerant crops. Today, tens of millions of smallholder farmers across Sub-Saharan Africa and South America are using new breeds of crops and increasing their yields. Every country, rich or poor, is exposed to extreme weather. We need to build better and more resilient infrastructure from electricity grids to roads, bridges and buildings. Our roadmap is the Paris Climate Agreement adopted by nearly 200 countries. This gives us the roadmap to work together and to make sure we can adapt to climate change and build resilient societies. We can do this, we must do this, and we must act quickly. So spread the word about the climate action you are taking to support the Paris Agreement.